So uh, my personal story behind Assimilate is that um, I live in a quite uh, multicultural uh, surrounding, which is Vojvodina and I'm from Novi Sad. Uh, there are like 26 uh, and more ethnicities and different cultures there. So I'm constantly uh, in touch with a lot of Hungarian, Slovak, Czech people and also the other nations as well. Um, and also as an artist I'm constantly traveling and I'm faced with uh, influences from different cultures, stigmas, um, language barriers and it's always how we are trying to go beyond this, how we are um, not trying to find a universal language, but how these all differences make us more beautiful than keep us apart. Well, I had some topics that are maybe connected uh, because there are like different aspects of a meaning of assimilation, but we're kind of working on um, the topic of integration, but the assimilation is quite a, um, how should I say, um, uh, intriguing topic. So you're always thinking of some negative aspect, but I worked on uh, cultural heritage as well and on to searching for, constant search for the home and what does home mean for you. And yes, I worked also with um, several projects about um, yeah, multiculturality with Erasmus Plus, youth exchanges and this kind of stuff. Yeah, because I already collaborated with the partner of Bespectective, which is a student cultural center for several, several years. I started as a volunteer there, so I'm quite involved with their activities. So I heard about it and I found it quite interesting because of the the research of the uh, like par participative uh, audience and as well as these um, residences and the, all the travel and how that will influence the piece and what we can get out of these residences because we are working with the uh, uh, local communities, how we involve the local community in the piece and in the whole research. So Luba, I worked with him on uh, several performances and projects, so we kind of quite know each other for like four years already. So Luba and I kind of came to this idea together and uh, he's uh, a composer part, but uh, all three of us in the main team, we kind of worked together on developing the whole uh, uh, the whole concept of the piece so it's not like uh, like exact divided role so we really work together it's just that we kind of uh, he is a composer who so he will work on the music part and um, I will be the choreographer and also the dancer and Mate is managing the theatrical adventure game but he's also dancing in the piece so we're really like multitasking all the time so the roles are overlapping. Yeah. Mate is from Hungary and it was really interesting that it was really like for this bespectacular like team from Serbia and our team was already uh, intercultural and multilingual so we already kind of started this assimilation and integration topic from our own team somehow. Yeah, so the concept of the, uh, for the format of the performance, we chose a theatrical adventure game, which is some kind of an escape room, but in an artistic way. So we will, it's kind of the mixture of uh, tasks that we give to the audience, uh, that they need to solve some puzzles and things. And through this task, they will, uh, we will introduce the characters which are kind of a sublimated research on a, of a different experiences of the people with this topic because we previously made a series of interviews with the people with a migration history and their families. So we're kind of through this task, we are bring a task through this game, we are bringing these experiences to the people. 
So they will first go through this part and then they will come to the central performance which is a dance piece, let's say, but the audience is also involved because there is no uh, strict stage and uh, uh, audience place, like divided, so the audience will be really in the space and what will happen when you can see the performer going constantly through you, behind you, um, really close to you. And that relation we want to kind of uh, investigate what will happen and also that brings uh, with each performance will be different because you have a different backgrounds of the audience and you never know what can happen because someone will be really distant and scared because their cultural uh, things that they already have and some people will, will really want to participate and copy you and maybe touch you and yeah this is what brings the life to each performance that it's different. Uh, we wanted to, we were thinking how to evolve the so, uh, local community yes. and we thought that like uh, cultural heritage through dance is carried out through uh, traditional dances. So we really uh, asked for the musician, like traditional musician, and instead of one, we got really a band here and also um, a dancer who has a contemporary dance background and also the folk background, which was really interesting to see how the way she moves and also with the musicians and we kind of made this exchange. So. Uh, these dances and the music were really inspiring, also the language as well, and we recorded a lot of people pronouncing the Hungarian words and we mixed them up with Serbian and that's also how we built up the, some of the dance material through the rhythm of the words, let's say. And for the showing we are planning to uh, present uh, one character because there will be four but just for the testing part we want to do one experience because there will be four different paths and also one part of the dance piece which is also going to be developed but this is really what we did for these 10 days working here in Bakelit. Yeah, I think I'm quite proud of what we did because we were only talking about this project for one year and we weren't able to be in one place together and really work on this. So we really, from these 10 days, we built everything from the scratch based only on trying out the ideas that we talked about this for this whole year already. Yeah, so the piece is uh, going around the topic of assimilation and integration of the people who are constantly migrating and the people, the generations of people who are, um, who needed for some reason to change their hometown, their origin. And it was interesting how it's always, it doesn't have to be some sometimes it's because of art because of job because it's not always doesn't have to be always the war the reason some let's say misfortunate uh, events so we kind of mix that all up and um, yeah we are uh, yeah we're going around this topic and from different aspects uh, we brought it into the uh, we summed it up into a theatrical adventure game uh, format with uh, four characters that we are following the whole story through and also the dance piece which is abstraction of the of the whole topic. So that would be <laughs> the most short, shortest version because this is really like a one year old idea already and we're co it's constantly changing and it's really it's really interesting to follow the, the whole trajectory of the project and how it develops.